So my AirPods Max have arrived. I ordered the silver and the pink. These were the ones that Apple sent me to review. And Marquez, I just want to say I'm so sorry. Maybe they got our addresses mixed up or something. I'm not sure. Or maybe they just thought that you know, your new favorite color should be green. Either way, you guys should actually go check out Marquez's video. He just posted it talking about the new AirPods Pro Max. So this isn't gonna be any crazy in-depth review. It's actually very late right now. But I just got back from taking my dog to the vet and these were sitting on my doorstep. But I really just wanted to show you the colors of all of these, but I've been using them every single day for phone calls, for Zoom calls, conference calls. I've been using them for gaming. I used them this weekend to shoot my podcast with my sister. I've been editing with them. I did a running class with them on Apple Fitness. I also kind of started to do a yoga class just for the sake of the video, and I realized that doing yoga in over-the-ear headphones, no matter what type they are, is not really very enjoyable. I have done yoga though with just the regular AirPods and those work great. I absolutely love these. I love the way that they look on camera. I love the way that they sound when I'm editing. I love the way that I was using them with the Rodecaster with the plug-in lightning cable to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which I do think is a little bit expensive. Obviously I don't love the price. They are very expensive but these are incredibly high quality headphones. You are paying for them to sound incredible, to look amazing. And when I first tried out that spatial audio, it really did make me feel like a Jedi. Now let's turn it on. Okay, now it's on. Oh my gosh. It's like I'm in the Mandalorian right now. Hold that thought. <laughs> Try spatial audio once. <laughs> becomes a Jedi very quickly. <laughs> I do wanna do a follow-up video after I've really had a chance to really test these out extensively. But for the most part, I am so happy with my purchase. I got these for mine and my sister's podcast so that she can have a set and I can have a set. Oh, this just looks so good. It's also kind of exciting because now I can mix and match the ear cups as well. So we're gonna dress these up and do a little mix and match with the ear cups. First, let's just open these up. This is something that Tyler pointed out earlier uh, when he was here. The box is a one-to-one -one scale of the headphones. Another thing that I kind of wish that they would have is the 3.5 millimeter cables to match each headset because they only have white and black, but I want this cable to match this color. Maybe there's some third-party ones out, and if there aren't, hello, third-party, can you can you work on that, please? I would also like it to be a thicker cable, a little bit more industrial, because the Apple one is kind of thin. And I'm worried that if I ever do start traveling again, or if I'm using them on a daily basis, like it's a very thin cable. Also, Marquez, <laughs> in this video, oh my God, he does not like this case at all. It looks like a little purse. I can't wait to see this pink. Oh, wow. Oh. Hello, it's more of like a salmon color and this is actually, I wouldn't say it's my favorite color because I really love hot pink, but like as an accent color and just a color to wear in general, love this. Love everything about this. Look at this, oh my, look at that. Freaking pink is beautiful. This is beautiful. Get ready. Oh, hello, back up. Everybody stop what you're doing, the hype train has left the station. Look at that, look at that, look at that. So one of the things that a lot of early reviewers have said is that these are a heavier pair of headphones and they're not wrong. These are heavier than most normal pair of higher end kind of luxury headphones, but the way that they have kind of evened it out to make this weight distribute over the top of your head with this little mesh band is pretty good. Look at that, look at you, look at you. You look uh, so good. So color comparison compared to the space gray. Mm. They just look like macaroons, like I can't get over it. Like they just look like a delicious macaroon that I would like to eat right now. <sighs> what a weird case. It's just like, this is something that they decided that was what they were gonna do. I'm actually like totally fine with this case. I just wish that it had something to protect this band because if I ever start traveling again, I don't want this to be exposed to the outside world. Can I like put it in the, no, I can't. Can I take this apart? Like what can I do to can I make this better? Look at this one. This silver looks fresh, like a fresh snowfall on a winter's day. I wonder how soon it's gonna be until Apple releases a new type of case for these. Hopefully soon, to be honest with you. 
Wow. Okay, the white is very, very pretty. This is so good looking. It is like a beautiful snowfall. I can't even tell which ones are my favorite. Like these also look incredible. I think if I had to pick one pair, I think it'd be the white. No, I like the, no, I think it's the white. I think I would pick the white. Only because when I'm doing live streams and things like this, these kind of blend in to my background and I like being able to see them. So this, oh shoot, who is she? She is me. I'm really, I'm really happy right now. One of the things I've noticed using this over the past couple of days is how amazing the transparency mode is and how easy it is to hop right into it. You just press this top little button right here. That automatically brings you into the transparency mode so you can hear everything around you. I'm so confused sometimes when I hear myself talking because it's so clear. It's almost like I'm not wearing anything over my ears. It's really, really impressive. As far as the noise canceling goes, it's also pretty impressive. I mean, I can't even hear myself talking when I have the volume all the way up. I do love being able to have this physical dial and because this is so similar to the Apple Watch, it kind of ties everything into the Apple ecosystem design-wise. I mean, I also love the pink as well, but if I had to pick, I mean, this is a look. This is, this is definitely a statement and this is just subtle. Let's do a little mix and match of these ear cups. Oh, okay. Can you even tell? Barely. Mm, not that into it. I think I like the white cups the best. Look at that, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, you know. These look good. The white on the black, now that's cool. It's hard to tell, especially with my longer hair, like you can't really see it as much on people probably with shorter hair. I think that we are going to keep the ear cups how Apple has intended them. But it is nice to know that if you wanna mix and match, it's possible. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at some of the newer colors for the AirPods Max. I look forward to using these in all of my future videos for editing, for podcasting, for all of the things. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and hopefully that I, and hopefully I can answer those for you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, be sure to do so. And for those of you that have subscribed, thank you so much. And thank you for coming along on this really fun journey this year. It's been a really crazy year, but I appreciate all of you guys in the comments and on Twitter and on Instagram and everywhere we get to hang out. So I'm going to go edit this video and see you guys in the next one. You're not going to tell me that this doesn't look like a set of macaroons, like in a nice little delicious bakery setting. Mm. Hey Siri, play the new Taylor Swift album. <laughs> <laughs>